Hello everyone and welcome to our online service this morning. Today's service has been put together by the Intergenerational Learning Community and we hope that you will be blessed as we worship together this morning. Let us pray. God, we gather in your presence. Father, we long for more of you. Jesus, we place you at the centre. Holy Spirit, come and fill our time together. Help us to be fully present here to your word, to one another, and to the world you love. Amen. Joe, Joey and Will are now going to lead us in a time of reflection and confession. Well, this has been a difficult year, hasn't it? A really difficult year. And sometimes difficult times can bring out the best in us. We can see so much kindness and caring when we look around in difficult times. And during lockdown, we've seen families and friends and neighbours, even strangers, going out of their way to help others who are in need. But sometimes difficulty can also bring out the worst in us. I think it's because when we're sad, lonely, tired, angry, frightened, all those emotions, it can make us respond in ways that don't really show our best self and uh, which are unhelpful to ourself and others. So today we're going to think about the ways that we might have let each other, ourselves and God down during the last year. Why are we doing that now? Well, it's always good to ask God for his forgiveness. But today, as we enter uh, a new church year we enter into advent it's particularly important because we're getting ready aren't we we're getting ready to meet uh, the baby jesus and we don't want anything to come in the way of that we don't want to be carrying anything any baggage our hands full of guilt or negative feelings we want to let that go so that our hands are open and ready to receive his love and goodness so today is the first Sunday of Advent and it's a time when we start to get ready to meet the baby Jesus and we're going to do a prayer exercise together. We're going to think about the things that we've done over lockdown and over the past year that have not been so good and we're going to bring them to God and uh, we're going to ask him to forgive us for them. We've got some paper and some pens and we're going to write down some of the things that we are sorry for about the last year. So we've written our um, the things that we're sorry for now. We've written them on pieces of paper and we're going to screw them up, aren't we, Joey? Are you going to screw yours up really into small, small ball? And then... And we're only doing this because Joey has an adult with him. We wouldn't do this if there were no adults. But we, we are going to throw our things on the fire and watch them burn. Well done, Joey. Will, do you want to do yours? Mine isn't burning. Yeah, you're going to do yours? Mine isn't burning. Okay. So if we if we didn't have a grown up, we might just screw them up and uh, put them in the bin. And now we're going to pray because we know it's not the fire that burns away our sins. It's the love of God as we bring them to him. Dear Lord, we're sorry for all the times we have let you down this year. For angry words and grateful attitudes for moments of indifference to our neighbours, and so many more we could name. Please forgive us and help us to journey towards Christmas with clean hearts and hands, ready to receive your love anew and share it with, out with those who we meet. Amen. And now we're going to hear our scripture reading for today, Isaiah 11 verses 1 to 5 from the Message Translation. Read by our friends from Edge, Lizzie, Jill and Lizzie. The reading is from Isaiah chapter 11 verses 1 to 5. A green shoot will sprout from Jesse's stump, from 
his roots a budding branch, the life-giving spirit of God will hover over him. The spirit that brings wisdom and understanding, the spirit that gives direction and builds strength, the spirit that instills knowledge and fear of God. Fear of God will be all his joy and delight. He won't judge by appearances, won't decide on the basis of hearsay. He'll judge the needy by what is right, render decisions on earth's poor with justice. His words will bring everyone to all detention. A mere breath from his lips will topple the wicked. Each morning, He'll pull on sturdy work clothes and boots and build righteousness and faithfulness in the land. And now Christine is going to introduce the Jesse tree to us, something that you can use over Advent to prepare for Christmas. So let's have a little think about the passage that we just read and let's set the, the scene a little bit. So the Israelites have arrived in the promised land they've arrived in Jerusalem and obviously they're expecting everything to be wonderful but actually what they find is that the people there are not very nice to them and there's lots and lots of poor behavior and Isaiah tells us in the previous passage how um, there's an image given of trees being cut down and it really represents how God um, cuts down all the people that are misbehaving and cuts them low, including Jesse, which is the tree that we hear about in the beginning of the passage. And something that um, we were wondering about um, when we were talking about using this passage was how I wonder if for you at this moment, you might feel a little bit like the Israelites that, you know, here we are in time of pandemic and you know, we've come, we're about to come out of lockdown. Um, we're hoping that things will just go back to normal. But of course, the reality is that they probably won't and that things will probably still be difficult for quite some time, even though there's a hope and a promise. And in this passage, there's a hope and a promise to come. And in this season that we're all entering is the season of Advent. And the shoot that we hear about coming out from that stump represents Jesus because Jesse is the father of David and David becomes king and we can trace the genealogy of Jesus all the way back to King David so the two are related and really that's so interesting because this here is the start of a foretelling in the Bible of the coming of Jesus and Jesus will be born at uh, what we celebrate as Christmas. And in the season of Advent, we look forward to Christmas. We look forward to the hope and to the promise that Jesus brings to all of us. Another way that we can think a little bit more about this passage and its significance is to create a Jesse tree of our own. Um, here's a little interview I did with my nephew, James, about the Jesse tree that we've made for this coming Advent. OK, so hi, James. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good. So I hear you've got some questions to ask me about the Jesse tree. Yeah, I have. OK, fire away. What is a Jesse tree? Oh, good question. Well, a Jesse tree is, is that, it's an actual tree. It's a physical tree that you can make and you can use branches out of the garden um, or, at, you know, if you go on a walk and find some branches on the ground, you can do that. Or you can make it out of cardboard or you can even make it out of pipe cleaners. There's quite a lot of different ways you can make it with whatever you've got to hand. But you, whatever you make, it's going to represent a tree. And then on the tree you're going to hang some pictures. I've also got another question. Mm. What are the pictures that we put on our tree? What do we put on the tree? Like, is it just a tree branches or? 
Uh, no, we're going to hang. So we're going to hang like some little ornaments. So they could be ornaments showing something. Or the ones we've got are um, we've printed. We've printed them off. In fact, we've gone the lazy way and printed off color ones. But you can print off black and white ones. And um, we're going to print those off, and then we're going to make them into decorations. In fact, I think going to get Finn and Phoebe to do it, and then we're going to hang them onto the tree. That's nice. And, I hope it but, will be. Yeah, I'm sure it will. But is there anything special about it? Like, is there anything special about this tree? Is it just a tree or does it have a meaning to it? Ah, good question. I like it. Okay, well, the tree. so there are going to be 25 of these ornaments that we're going to hang. And each one has got a Bible reading that goes with it. And each of the readings tells us something about um, how Jesus is, it's predicted for a long, long time that Jesus will be born. And by the time he is born, there's a great sense of expectation. So the prophecies that tell us, so those are like, you know, foretellings, um, go right back a long, long way in the Bible. So each day we will visit a different scripture that will show us um that jesus is going to be born and it takes us through quite a lot of different stories and situations and people in the bible and each of the pictures represents those so there are 25 of them so the first one we will hang on the first day of advent which is usually around the 20 around the first of december and so the 25th one will go on what day christmas yeah, on Christmas Day. And Christmas Day is about celebrating the birth of Jesus. So that's why we do it. So it's quite a nice way. It's sort of like a different way of doing an Advent calendar, really. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. That sounds great. I think I know all about Jesse Trees now. <laughs> great. Well, I'm looking forward to doing this one with you. Mm, yeah, it'll be fun. What did we need? Huh. Lovely colourful fairy lights. And we had to uh, scavenge some branches of our uh, apple tree. And then we put our first little picture on the tree. And now we've got to wait until the first day of Advent to start putting them on until it's Christmas. Fantastic. I hope that inspires you to have a go at your own Jesse tree to help you celebrate Advent this year. Next we have a time of worship from another James, a little James and his amazing mum Kate and they are going to be bringing you a song with some actions you can join in with. Okay. We've had the real privilege of going into our schools and worshipping with our children using signs instead of singing so join us as we sign O Come All Ye Faithful.
one. And now we're going to hand over to Jane, the children and family worker from Homer Church and the children there, who will lead us to pray in using the Church of England Advent Countdown to Christmas. <coughs> These prayers are taken from the Church of England Comfort and Joy Advent Countdown to Christmas, as we remember the comfort and joy that Jesus brings to us all. This is the first Sunday of Advent to give a fist bump to your family because we are all excited about opening our Advent calendars in two days time. We pray for people who are anxious about Christmas and we ask God to be close to them in the coming days. On the second day of on the second day of Advent, remember that Jesus is God's gift to us, and that's why we give presents at Christmas. Thank God for everyone you're going to give a present to this Christmas. We pray for people who are worried they do not have enough money for gifts or food. Help us to remember to give our gift to our local food bank. On the third Sunday of Advent, we give thanks for access to clean water, for washing, cooking and cleaning. Yeah. We pray for, some, for children in some countries who only have access to water like this. We pray for agencies like Water Aid, trying to bring clean water to children across the world. Fourth Sunday of Advent, we thank doctors, nurses, hospitals, and everyone who cares for our health. We pray for people who are sick or sad. On Christmas Day, we celebrate Jesus' birthday. Happy birthday, Jesus. We pray for people who do not have their homes to, ce to celebrate Christmas in. We pray for charities like Crisis who provide safe space for them to eat and sleep over Christmas. It is nearly December. On the 31st of December, let us remember to thank God for all the good things that have happened this year. Squeeze your hands into fists until it feels uncomfortable. 2020 was uncomfortable for many families. As we slowly open our hands, we ask that God makes 2021 less difficult for everyone. Amen. 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 We hope that you have enjoyed joining with us in worship this morning and thank you to all of those who have contributed. Let us pray together as we end our worship this morning. Loving God, we give you thanks for the blessings of this Advent season. As we look forward to the light of Christ this Christmas, Help us to turn towards that light in our lives. May we be a people of comfort and joy, shining the light of Christ in our homes, schools 
and workplaces. Amen. Thank you so much for watching today's service. If you'd like to make a contribution, you can give to our virtual collection plate by making an online donation to the work of our diocese. This will support the mission and ministry of all our churches. Please follow the links in this video. If you'd like to make a regular donation, you can set up a direct debit via the parish giving scheme. Ask your treasurer for a form or telephone 0333 002 1271. That's 0333 002 1271. Finally, and most importantly, thank you for all that you give to support the life and work of our diocese. May God bless you richly.